Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my everyday hair curling routine for short hair. I'm super excited to film this video because one of my most frequently asked questions is how I curl my hair, what curling iron I use, all of that good stuff. So I put together a really simple and quick tutorial to show you how I achieve my everyday curls. It takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to do my curls, just depending on how much of a rush I'm in in the morning. And with the technique that I use to curl my hair and just my hair texture overall, these curls do last two to three days. Obviously by day three, they're a little more wavy than curls. So I'm going to be walking you guys through step-by-step step how I curl my hair and all of the products and tools that I use to achieve this look. And my curling iron and the products that I use will all be linked in the description box down below. In this video, I'm going to be using a one and a quarter inch curling iron because I find that's just what's best for my length of hair and wanting this kind of voluminous wavy curl. Also, please excuse this massive mosquito bite that I have on my hand. It's been here for like almost a week now and I don't know what it is in 2020. The mosquitoes are next level and every time I've been bit this year, my skin just reacts in like the worst way. So don't mind this bug bite. I have been waiting for it to go away to film this video, but you know what? It's really not going away as fast as I wanted it to. So anyways, this hair curling tutorial is perfect for anyone who has hair kind of like around their shoulder, collarbone length. And if you have longer hair, I highly recommend checking out my older hair curling tutorial which I did when I had super long hair down to like my waist. That video is just a little more better suited because I have tips that are specific to really long hair but my overall technique and like the curling iron that I use is all the same. So I'll make sure I link that down in the description box below and with all of that rambling being said let's just get right into the tutorial. Okay so the first thing I do is part my hair straight down the middle. I just find that that's the most flattering for my face and my hair so that's how I wear it like 99% of the time and then I take a heat protectant spray of course always use heat protectant before you curl straighten blow dry your hair whatever it is to make sure that it stays healthy and protected I'm currently using the I think it's called way I'm not really sure heat protectant spray I just picked this one up from Ulta that's what it looks like it's just nice and light it doesn't make my hair feel like greasy or anything like that so I just spritz it over my hair really quickly and then I'm gonna brush it through so that it coats all of my hair and then this isn't going to look the most flattering but when I part my hair um, I just like to tie one side off so that it just stays out of the way while I'm curling the other side so we are just gonna go like this. It doesn't look great, but you know what? This is honestly how I curl my hair. And then I'm going to start on the right side and in the back. That's just how I've always done it. There's no rhyme or reason to it, but it's honestly just habit at this point. So for all of the pieces that I haven't curled yet, I just leave them in front on my shoulder. And as I grab pieces from the back, I kind of just toss them back and out of the way. So even though I have quite thick and like a lot of hair on my head, I do still just section off my hair into two when I used to have really long hair which I did a hair curling tutorial when I had hair extensions down to like here. I still really only put it into two sections. You can section off even more. You'll see in maybe some other hair tutorials on YouTube where they do like a bottom section, a middle, and a top. I feel like that's just really good if you have like a lot, a lot of hair or you want really defined pieces and so you just want to like section it off even more. But since I'm really just going for like an everyday kind of loose curl look, I just put it in two sections. That's the gist of it. So what we're gonna do is take about an inch piece from the back. Um, if my hair feels tangly, I just make sure I brush it through again. And then I'm going to take my one and a quarter inch curling iron. This one has a clamp on it and that is what I prefer to use. You can use a one inch curling iron if you want. If your hair is about my length then I would recommend going with one and a quarter just so that the curls look really voluminous and kind of wavy. If I curl my hair this length with a one inch curling iron it's going to look like really tight and a little more Shirley Temple like so it really just depends on the type of curls that you're going for and I do prefer to use a curling iron over a wand 100% that's just me. So I'll walk you through this a couple times basically what I do is I take my clamp down to the bottom and leave about an inch to two inches of the ends out and then twist it up to the top just for however much hair fits on the barrel and then leave it on here for about five to ten seconds take it out that's what it looks like and then toss it behind my head and move on to the next section 
So I'll do this a bunch of times so you can see exactly what it looks like. Take another about inch section. I think that's okay, it might be a little too big. Okay, there we go. Slide it down to the bottom and twist it up. You also want to make sure that your hair is laying flat against the barrel so that your curls come out really nice and smooth when you take it out. I feel like that was a mistake that I first made when I started to curl my hair and it just really made the curls look kind of like chunky and just not that like smooth wavy look that everyone I think wants to go for and you can totally play around with how long you have to keep the barrel on your hair I find that five to ten seconds for me is best but depending on like how thick your hair is or how easy it curls you may want to do more or less time and you'll also notice that I'm not brushing out my curls yet I let them set until I finish one side of my head which takes about five to seven minutes really just depending on how fast I'm trying to go and so I want to let my curls set completely and cool before I brush them out so that they really hold their shape and that's how I get my curls to last like two to three days just depending on what I'm doing but yeah I basically just continue to grab one inch sections from the back to the front and I try and grab pieces kind of on the top and bottom I also curl all of my hair in the exact same direction if i want my hair to look like that really wavy kind of natural look then i will curl my hair in two different directions kind of alternating but for some reason sometimes that just looks like too messy on me so i do prefer to do all of the curls in one direction and i also feel like they last longer when i curl them all in the same direction okay we are starting to get to like the front quarter of my hair so what i'm going to show you guys since i have face framing layers right here i'm actually going to take the front piece and just do this one before i do any others because i want to make sure it looks really good since it sits right next to my face and it really just frames the whole look so i still take about an inch piece and I grab it like right from the top there, if you can see that. Just hold it out to the side, make sure it's really smooth and flat. And then this piece, because I have some shorter layers, I kind of have to curl the top little bit first. So we're just gonna go like that. I also find that my front pieces don't take as long to curl as the back, so I'm not gonna leave it for as long on there. There we have it, that is the front little piece and then I'm just gonna keep doing the rest now that I've gotten that one out of the way. Okay, so now that this side is all done, I am just going to brush through kind of like the back half of my head because the front half is still setting a little bit and I just take my fingers and really loosely brush through the curls and I'll do it once again once I finish this side and everything is all cooled and set. So I'm going to repeat the exact same process on this side, starting at the back and grabbing those one inch sections. I'm just gonna put this section of the video into a time lapse so that if you guys wanna just see the technique that I use to curl my hair over and over, you can totally watch. Um, if not, you can fast forward and I will check in with you guys when I'm done with all of my curls. Alrighty, so I just finished this side of my head and it's time to let that one set. I briefly just ran my fingers through the right side and it's looking a little voluminous right now, but the curls will settle down in just a few minutes. So I'll check back in with you guys in about 10 to 15 and show you the final result. One thing though that I forgot to mention was I put my curling iron, so it's done by numbers, the heat settings, just like one through five, and I put it on four. I think that the five would probably be roasting my hair a little too much, and I have tried three, and like it works for my curls to last a day, but I think I need the higher heat to get my curls to last about two to three days. So if you were curious, that is the heat setting that I use on my curling iron. Okay guys, my curls have had a minute to just settle down, so this is what the finished result looks like when they are all brushed out and for the very last step of my hair curling routine I do sometimes use a light texturizing hairspray just to keep these curls in all day and this is my absolute favorite one I've been using it for about a year now and it is the Kevin Murphy do over dry powder finishing spray um, I picked it up from my hair salon as it was a recommendation by my hairdresser, but I know that you can find Kevin Murphy online as well. And I do highly recommend using salon quality products, especially if you have colored hair, just because 
they're way better quality it's gonna be so much better for the overall health of your hair and for me it's worth the price this bottle has lasted me like at least a year at this point and I still probably have about a third of it left so I'm gonna spritz this all over my hair it's gonna be a little hard to do because all I have is my viewfinder to see how I'm spraying it but I think we are good now this is my favorite hairspray because it just has this really nice light texture that doesn't leave your hair feeling crunchy and like gross. Sometimes if I use a hairspray that has a little too much hold to it, my hair the next day is just like crunchy and gross. It does not feel good, but I highly, highly recommend this hairspray if you're looking for one. And so there you have it. That is my everyday hair curling tutorial for short hair. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it informative. Like I said at the start of the video, if you have any questions at all for how to curl your hair, if I didn't explain something enough feel free and leave me a comment below I try and answer every single comment and I've been curling my hair like this for quite a while so I've probably just gotten used to the whole routine and there may be something that I kind of left out so if you have any more questions just leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one bye